Okay, so Uncle Ruckus is pissed that he's voiced by a black man. Let's see what's up. Hey, sweet friends, Gary Anthony Williams. We want to talk a little bit about Voice of a Wiki. One of the favorite characters that I voice is, of course, Uncle Ruckus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You do not voice me, Uncle Ruckus. No relation. Well, clearly, they look it up. They'll see that I voice you, Ruckus. Sister. No, no, no. Uh, you clearly, as you say, I am voiced by a beautiful white man somewhere sitting on a very nice plush couch, and he smells like vanilla and bounce fabrics off the... First of all, insulting to me and white people smelling in a certain way. No, 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 no. You know white folks smell good. And if you cannot take the heat, then get your black chitlin eating ass out of the kitchen. I don't I don't even eat. I don't eat chitlins, y'all. I grew up in the South. But we raised and slaughtered hogs. I stopped eating meat long ago. I'm actually a vegan. No, impossible. Only beautiful thin white women is vegan. Only beautiful, thin, white women with alabaster skin, maybe some dark flowing hair, and beautiful blue tattoos. Them is who vegans is. That's, that's silly. A lot of Rastafarians are vegan. I go to a vegan restaurant, and I see black people there. Oh, yeah, I don't see no damn black people in no vegan restaurant. Look, look, look. This is Uncle Rockers. No relation. I am not voiced by Gary Anthony Williams. He's lying. No, I am not voiced by Gary Anthony Williams. I am voiced by a beautiful white man. And if you can't take that, if you can't understand the truth, don't listen. If you can't understand the truth, then you need to not listen to a damn video he's gonna say. The end. Stick around. If you want to learn about voiceover, I'm, I'm just trying to teach people more. No, no, you teach people the truth. I hate the lying nigga. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's some damn talent, man. That's some damn talent, bro. It's it's always refreshing seeing talent. Because a lot of times we don't see talent nowadays, but uh, that's funny. If y'all want to see more, check out the Gary Anthony Williams, um, or what's the name on TikTok. Uh, that's, that's dope. That's dope. Boondock fans, make sure I smash the like button, dog. Shout out to y'all. But speaking of being able to switch your voice around, this Asian chick from New York is going viral because of her accent. Check this out right here. So I may not be able to play it at the beginning because of the music in it. But someone's drawing a painting. Wait for it. her reaction. She said I'm going to skip past this. Because her. I drew you. Dang. Why? <laughs> you did that? Yeah. I ain't paying you no bitch. I'll take you to the fuck. Well, there's been mad controversy about my voice and what the fuck I said. Bitch, let me tell you something. This is the last time I'm gonna fucking say this shit. My voice is how the fuck I fucking sound. I'm not gonna fake some shit for 19 fucking years. That don't make no fucking sense. Bitch, if I grew up around the fucking hood, if I grew up in the projects, I'm gonna speak how the people around me speak. If I go to school with people who speak like this, I'ma speak how I speak. That's not how, that's not faking or nothing like that. You a part of your environment. Y'all bitches should know that shit. And bitch, if I live in China, I damn well be speaking mad Chinese. Like, come on, this, this is fucking science, bro. Like, not even science, this is ABC, motherfucker. Like, come on. You telling me I shouldn't be speaking like this, so how should I speak like? You tell me how I should speak like, and that's not being stereotypical because I'm Asian, because I look Asian, I should speak a certain way. That's not being racist in itself. That don't make no sense. And on topic of me saying the N-word, nah, that was all on me. That shit was dead wrong with me. Don't mean nowhere. Don't mean if I grew up around people who said it. Don't mean who, who referred to me, who said it, who, which they did. That's my fault for thinking I was okay for me to say it. That was not, that's not it. Because at the end of the day, I'm not black. That was disrespectful to the African-American community. And I should never be saying that shit. I issued an apology and I meant that shit. I'm going to learn from it. And I'm going to never, ever say that shit again because that shit's not cool. But even though I meant that shit in no offensive way, no disrespect, that's something I should not be saying as an Asian-American. That I get. You can ask those around me who went for dummy fucking long and the people who I went to fucking school with, they know. That's how I've been sounding since day fucking one. And you don't like this shit, you don't gotta hear it. You can unfollow, that's cool with me. Bitch, you can leave. Fuck. What you not finna do is sit here and tell me that my voice is fake. And I'm trying to profit off of this shit. Bitch, that make no, that make no sense. That dead ass makes no sense. Hmm. What y'all think about that? Let's go ahead and see what other people are saying on Twitter. Now this most interesting thread that I've seen, it says black people grow up around other races and somehow we manage to still sound like ourselves and be ourselves, but everyone non-black gotta wear us like a costume and be a walking stereotype, okay. My initial thought to that, I don't fully agree with that at all. 
because it could be it could be either or you know someone can sound like their area some people cannot you know this person says laugh my ass off lies plenty of black people get told they talk white this lady says y'all would be confused coming to the caribbean because most people sound the same despite their race and ethnicity facts and they put this video up right here saying present it without comment now, I really didn't want to say anything about this, but people are just stupid. You see the way Americans be talking and they break into an English accent. You see the way English people be talking and be to breaking into American accent. Why is it when I be talking, I can't, I can't break into an American accent? It's, oh my God, your accent's fucking fake. But all your designers are fake and I'm not speaking. Right, at the end of the day, I'm sure you can see the Nigerian flag in my fucking bio. I'm fucking Nigerian and I talk like this sometimes, like, you know, sometimes I just talk like this. But like, let's get a fucking straight, right? Let's just get this straight. On a Monday morning, you'll be going up like, oh, what's up, John Joe? I haven't seen you since fucking Friday. And then when you go home, you're like, mommy, I'm so sorry, I, I forgot to watch the play. So does that mean you're putting on an accent? I'm fucking Nigerian, obviously I'm gonna have different accents. I've lived everywhere, fucking everywhere. My accent isn't an Irish accent, my accent is jumbled up. It's fucking jumbled up. On top of that, I chill with travelers. Me neighbors are fucking travelers. If I sound like this and it's not the common Irish accent, I'm so sorry. Actually, I'm not, I'm not sorry. What the fuck am I saying? If I want to speak an American accent, if I want to talk like this, what's your fucking business? Me, myself, personally, I feel like it's not that big of a damn deal. I, I agree. I think some people that's in a certain area you know, Regency, they're certain region or around certain different type of people. They are going to speak like the region. It's some dude that be with Funny Mike. He look like a little white boy or some a little Spanish boy. He has that Louisiana accent. It should always catch me off guard when I see you on Funny Mike with Buddy. I definitely know some Asians. Shout out to a homie named Tom Tom and goddamn in uh, Orlando, West Orlando. Dude definitely sounds like a black dude. His brother sounds like a black dude. Dude got dreads and all. He grew up with black people in a hood area. Like, this is, yeah. And I've seen their parents. Their parents are definitely more traditional Asian people. I can't remember exactly what, what country they're from. But their parents don't really care that much. They just know their children grew up where they grew up at, you know? But I don't really think this conversation is that damn deep. I just want to see what y'all think about it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next story, though. All right, so y'all seen the whole situation going on with goddamn John Morant. Steven Jackson defended him in the past. Then he recently was like, bro, what the hell you on? You made a moron move. Um, popping back up with the fire with the gun. But now Steven Jackson is, is on defending Ja Morant again by posting Chris Kamen. And this says former NBA All-Star Chris Kamen, Pixar from 2012, 2013, and 2016, wasn't suspended a minute um, of a game. So this is him, you know, looks like, I don't know where's his location at. This is him inside of a home. This is him at a gun store. Stack said it's cool when they do it, it's probably when I do it. Wrong is wrong, but hey, if you're 23, rich and black, you dead wrong. So let's listen to what Stack gotta say. What up, world? Oh, some quicks is a lot of y'all have don't have no comprehension. My brother died, I called Ja to call my little nephew, because my nephew wanted to be just like him. Ja called him, showed him some love. I want him to be like Ja, but I don't want my little nephew to be holding guns and thinking holding guns is cool. So Ja deserves all the punishment he's, he's going to get, all that. He has to be held accountable. But we have to make it make sense. ESPN, and, and it was a couple games where the Memphis Grizzlies was coming out, and they playing these same songs, making the gun signs to the camera and marching out, getting ready to go play that game, and it was all cool. The NBA, every event, you have these same rappers rapping these same lyrics about guns and shooting at all your events. Just make it make sense. That's all I'm saying. Yes, John need to be held accountable. Holding guns and all that is not cool. I don't do it, I don't stand for it, I don't, I don't su support it. But at the same time, make it make sense. That's all I'm saying. Okay, that's a fair point. Um, slippery slope is gonna be an avalanche from that shit right there. So what y'all think about that? But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Next story, though. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That was a clip from my Go To Series Black Twitter. Watch the entire episode by either clicking the card above or the links in either the description or the pinned comment. And be sure to subscribe to the Black Twitter channel.